What's up YouTube, ODST General back again, and today guys we have some more Starship Simulator to show off to you guys. Uh, this is a experimental build I'm on, so this is the work in progress of the work in progress, so keep that in mind. Um, the last time we showed this off I think was the last Steam Next Fest, and uh, it's Next Fest again, but... Uh, they were supposed to be participating it this time around. They are not. Uh, unfortunately, with last Next Fest, I guess, uh, customization took a little bit longer to implement than they anticipated, and then there was some other stuff that they ended up focusing on and reprioritizing. And, and before they participate in Next Fest, they basically want to have a gameplay set up for a cold start, and we are seeing the very beginning of that cold start set up, so I figured with it being Next Fest, the game planning to at least re release a demo even though they're not participating and having this start of the cold start set up i figured now would be a good time to do a new video show off some of the character customization stuff to you guys because i don't think i showed that off uh and then show off all the changes to the ship and everything uh the character customization is going to be a little bit trickier for me to actually show off to you guys because it's kind of bugged right now but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior of the ship so if you guys have watched my previous videos on the game, I don't think you'll have probably seen too much of the exterior of the ship, but if you have, it's changed uh, quite a bit since then. Pretty massive overhaul to the exterior, the overall shape. A lot of people said the ship looked a little too Star Trek-like. I have a feeling probably a lot of people will still say that with this particular design, but I think anytime you really you have a saucer kind of spaceship, I think it kind of begs that comparison to an extent um but they've gotten rid of the uh, the rear pylons the double pylons in the back and they've added the radar dish or the uh, the i think this is the sensor dish is what this is supposed to be um which is obviously very very much a placeholder <laughs> but uh looking at the ship here the b deck and the c deck have been overhauled pretty heavily uh at least from the exterior of the ship now in the previous builds the A deck wasn't really fleshed out at all now. It's been basically redone from the exterior. Uh, there was very sloped windows and you can still you can kind of see how that slope was before with these like kind of dividers between the windows. Um, but the windows have been flattened out like the bridge. Uh, presumably at some point those will get blast shields and stuff too uh, down the line. I don't know if that's the plan or not, but I would guess it is. Um, but those have been given actual physical windows, so you can now go down to those rooms on the ADAC and look out those windows. Uh, additionally, about half of, actually probably even, yeah, yeah, I guess a little over half of uh, CDEC, which is the science labs and stuff, have also been given windows that are of a similar design. A little bit smaller for each individual window, but there's a lot of windows. Um, the lounge has been overhauled a bit from the exterior and the, the interior of the lounge has seen a massive change. So we'll take a look at that here in a minute. Uh, additionally, the ship has been basically extended out so you can essentially walk around the whole entire ship now for the most part. There isn't a lot on the interior on these outer sections, but you can see these, uh, these windows up in the front of the ship which is the uh, the Arboretum, or the placeholder for the Arboretum, and that's pretty awesome area to sit there and actually like look out at a planet and, and like the nebulas and stuff and just kind of enjoy the scenery. So let's go ahead and let's hop out of the seat here. Um, so I think I showed off ship customization when that got implemented, when they were still doing the, uh, the playtest, the last playtest that is. And you can see we've got like the wood grain and the carpets and everything. But just in case I didn't show that off, I'll show it off. You can name your ship, change the wall colors, uh, you know, change flooring colors, materials. So you can change this from like wood to resin, for instance, and change your UI panels, your lighting. Lighting doesn't change quite as drastically, but you can change the color. So like we've got the red running lights and stuff here. Um, we're going to cancel that because that looked atrocious, so I just threw it together there. And we're going to head back to the lounge. Uh, so nothing else really has changed up here. Oh, there is, I did forget, I was going to show off the character customization. So character customization, like I said, is kind of bugged right now. You can see the UI, but you can't actually see my character in this mode, unfortunately. I haven't tried to actually change anything, but I'm assuming it would change. But you can see we've got our name. Uh, you have the country of all the backers. So these are basically the backer countries. You've got your different departments you can switch to. You've got your different ranks. So say we want to be an admiral, you can do that. The captain's the captain. The first officer's commander. 
Uh, and then depending on the other stuff, there's usually a little bit more in the way of roles. So you can do, say, an enlisted pilot or ensign pilot. Uh, deck chief would be, you know, either like the lieutenant or lieutenant commander. Uh, so let's say we'll do medical. We could do like an enlisted medic and we can change, say, our jacket to not have a jacket. We could have a t-shirt on, for instance. And this is kind of buggy, so we actually have to do that. And you can see now we are in a green t-shirt, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're out in the lounge here, so let's go ahead and take a look at the lounge. And if you guys have seen my previous videos on Starship Simulator, you will probably notice that the lounge has seen a pretty big uh, change. Now, there was basically just a small balcony with a wrapped around staircase over here that would go down to the rest of the lounge. And it was really pretty much up to like here where this elevator is or around here is where the old balcony extended out to it wasn't very big it's basically just a walkway that got you up to the bridge uh, that's been changed out for an elevator now unfortunately because of the way the ship's designed the elevator that goes up the core of the ship doesn't come up to this top level but now you can take that elevator come down the hall and then you'll actually be able to come to this elevator which is the first functioning i use that term with big quotations elevator in the game it just goes up and down automatically by itself but uh, you can stand in there and go up and down then there's also uh, this little walkway that extends around that's uh, not the greatest view from up here but you can see the back of the ship pretty well so eventually you know as the ship starts to take damage and stuff like that say you're part of the bridge crew or like an engineer or damage controller or whatever you can kind of run back here and take a look at the uh the exterior of the ship and get a good idea what's going on and this comes down here the uh the bottom of the launch has also seen some pretty big changes as i said the exterior got changed a little bit and that meant that these uh, walls all had to be rebuilt and uh while he was at it uh dan the project lead basically rebuilt this and they ended up rearranging this so yeah some some pretty big changes to the lounge as you guys have already noticed the npcs were also re-enabled throughout at least part of the ship so you'll see the npcs on the a deck and b deck here in the lounge and you'll see there's actually the stewards and the stewards walk around and are quote unquote performing their roles and stuff so they'll basically walk around to points of interest walk around act like they're serving at the bar and stuff which is pretty neat now the rest of the ship's pretty dark. So before we proceed with this tour, we're going to just go ahead and jump on down this elevator shaft. And we've got to proceed on over to engineering, but we're not going to the reactor room. We are going over to this room here. Now this room last time I showed this off was empty. This now has some pretty big tanks. I'm sure these tanks are probably more than likely placeholders. I don't know. At least the UI is definitely placeholders. Um, I believe these are coolant tanks for the reactor. And eventually the reactor is going to need coolant, it's going to need uh, fuel, uh, so it's got deuterium, hydrogen-3, and coolant that are all go into it and are needed to start it up. So now the, the reactor, when you play this, is no longer online. It's It starts off offline and you have to turn the reactor for the ship on. And that means opening up all the valves on here, all these tanks, and... Uh, sending the flow of, I, again, I believe it's coolant in these tanks, over to the reactor to allow us to cool it off and start the uh, the fusion, or the fission process. I can't remember if it's fusion or fission. But uh, yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and open all these bad boys up. And again, just placeholder UI elements. And we're gonna walk out, so this is the lower level. This has all been redone. He's just uh, put some new panels and stuff down here. Uh, these floors have all been redone. These uh, maintenance hallways were all redone as well. I can't get into this one for some reason. There we go. Uh, so these are still not quite fully rebuilt. You can still see the wires basically going where they used to just go straight up back there. This has now been, uh, a hallway's been added back here and you can still go up here. And this goes out to the outer edges of the ship and everything. Like I said, that's been extended, but because it's dark, we are going to go ahead and head back to the reactor room. As soon as we can find the door for that, we just gotta run around until we find it. The reactor room thankfully does have, uh, you know, generator lighting or whatever on. And the main console here has been changed up a little bit. You can see this has uh, coolant flow, deuterium flow, helium-3 flow, 
the reactor efficiency, its output, its coil temperature, cooling per tick, and heating per tick. Now, what you guys didn't see is that this coil temperature actually starts off hotter, and then as you put that coolant, it drops down. And once it drops far enough, the start fusion uh, becomes enabled. So this isn't something that you can click immediately. You have to actually open those tanks, and this has to get to the right settings before you can actually come in and click this. So if we turn those on and then sprint it over here directly full speed instead of looking around, we'd have to wait uh, just a teeny bit before we could actually start up the reactor. So we're going to go ahead and click Start Fusion and it just lights up immediately. There's no special effects or anything yet. I'm sure that's something that will come down the line where you get a fancy effect like when uh, they start the uh, warp core in Star Trek. But yeah, pretty cool. You can see the coil temperatures jumped up a little bit. Uh, we've got power and stuff, so now if we go out here, light. The uh, engineering offices are going to be converted into like a control room or something from what I understand. So this is no longer the engineering office, so now this is just an open hole in the floor unfortunately. Um, with that being said, now that we have lights, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the ship. And we're going to go up to... Uh, duck D habitation upper and we're going to run out over this way so there's a couple of new areas that are accessible and keep in mind this is all very much very work in progress but uh, we have now access to the hangar bay at the rear of the ship and access to the arboretum at the front so you can see there is very very rough layouts these are barely functional hallways and stuff uh, there's no lights over here too once you get out of the ship and we're going to have to do a little teeny bit of cheesing here to achieve this at least for this particular room so this is the hangar bay at the back of the ship um, you can see there's a little placeholder force field so if you're in third person it looks it looks good looks fine but yeah in first person not <laughs> or, uh, from the interior of the ship I should say not first person it doesn't look as great uh, but yeah two-story hangar You've got uh, these little alcoves and stuff off on the side. Again, take this all with a big, big grain of salt. This is all very likely to change, probably pretty drastically, when Dan actually gets around to working on it. Um, but it looks like there will probably be like a freight elevator here or possibly a uh, shuttle storage elevator that you'll come down and you'll actually drop the, uh, the shuttles down into that area with an elevator and drop them off down here or something, maybe. I'm not certain. This is a, kind of a shorter thing for a shuttle, I would think, so I'm guessing this is probably going to be like the cargo bay. And you'll, you'll bring in supplies and stuff, and you'll bring them down here. And then this leads out directly into the maintenance hallway, so you'll be able to just basically bring all your cargo down here, have it accessible in this room, and then just transport it throughout the rest of the ship using these maintenance hallways. Um, so yeah, that is the, the shuttle bay, and again, there's... Not a whole lot going on there with that in particular, so we need to get out of here. So we're going to probably go down instead of up, I think, just because it's a little bit easier. And we're going to go up through engineering again. And... I'm going to... Actually, hang on, let's go up. Well, yeah, you know what, this will work. Let's go up over this way. we go down to the end of the hall here. And again, you got your, your staircase to the upper level, and this is the Arboretum. Again, this is all unfinished. This goes out to other rooms that are even less uh, finished than this, and you get the uh, guy in his underwear T-posing. But pretty awesome view here, again, even when it's unfinished. And you get the, all the the god rays coming in through the window, which looks really cool. But then you also get the uh, this nice little nebula and the, uh, the Earth-like planet that we're over right now, which is... It's all very neat. So, I mean, if you guys like vistas and stuff in video games, and you're, you're on these early builds and stuff, obviously. There's not a huge amount of gameplay, but sometimes it's nice just to stop and uh, enjoy the view. So we're going to go ahead though and head back out of here because there isn't much else to show down on these decks. And uh, we're going to go ahead and run up those ramps and head back out to the grand staircase wherever that
that is from this position. Here it is. Perfect. So we're going to go back up to the top here. I don't think they're... Well, yeah, you know what? I guess we can check out the C-Deck really quick. So C-Deck did change a bit, like I said. Um, they basically they got more windows on the exterior stuff. That's about it. There isn't much else to see, but might as well take a look at it. So these are the new exterior rooms for the science labs, which you can see have windows that go directly out looking on the ship's hull. So, you know, if you're into science stuff, you're a science officer, you're just like hanging out with all the scientists, regardless of your role, uh, you're probably going to get a little bit more of a vista depending on which sciences you're following up on. And that brings us back up to B deck, which uh, now that we've got light, we can explore a little bit better. Not that it matters too much because most of these work in progress rooms don't have lighting. But again, these are going to be your administrative slash uh, VIP rooms and stuff. So I think all these are basically set up for bedrooms. I don't know if there's plans to make any of these like administrative like officers quarters or uh, like any like special offices or anything like that. There's supposed to be a security checkpoint here. That's all I know for certain. I think most of these are supposed to be like guest quarters for like ambassadors and stuff that you might have aboard your ship. Um, but you can kind of see pretty, pretty spacious room here compared to the uh, general crew quarters that they've got downstairs. It's segmented off. So, you know, you've probably got like a bathroom here. You're, uh, I'm presuming the bedroom that's supposed to be mocking up like a bed for a person. Uh, you know, kind of your living room and kitchen or your dining room and kitchen and then like a living space here, maybe. And uh, all these rooms are basically like that. And again, they all have that nice view out in the space and everything. So pretty cool stuff. There's definitely been a lot of changes on the ship since they, uh, they last had to build out. And I'm guessing that we're probably going to have a build before too long here. And here they've actually got lights in this room, which is kind of nice, or at least some placeholder lights. But uh, yeah, as they come out with any additional builds, guys, if there's any other big changes or anything, I will probably do another video, but I'm guessing this one I'll probably release when they actually release their next public test, whenever that's going to be. It seems like it's probably pretty soon. I'm not certain, though. And uh, they could make some additional big changes between the time I record this and whenever it actually gets released. So it, it, it could be in the next couple days now that they've got the coolant in or it could be uh, it could be a few weeks because they might want to add in the additional reactor startup stuff at least in its most basic form. So uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Take it easy and I'll see you all in the next one.